Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this super cute little heart basket. It is so adorable and you know, it could be made a bunch of different sizes, colors, and also have a bunch of different uses. But in this case, I'm using it for jewelry. I have some earrings in here. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how I make this little heart basket today. I think it's just so cute. Um, little thing to have on your dresser. Now we can get to the tutorial for the heart basket. All you're gonna need to make the heart basket is your color uh, choice of yarn, a four millimeter hook, depending on what size yarn you're using. I'm using a medium weight yarn acrylic, and that means I want to use a four millimeter hook. But if you were to use a chunkier yarn, I would definitely recommend sizing up the hook. And of course, don't forget a pair of scissors. We're gonna grab our yarn and begin to make a chain. We want our chain to consist of 11 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We're then going to chain one more as a turning chain. We're gonna go into the second chain from the hook and make three single crochets. Then in the next three chains, we're gonna make one single crochet in each. We're going to make three single crochets together. I'll show you how. You're gonna go into the next stitch, pull up your yarn, into the next stitch, pull up your yarn, and into the next stitch one more time, pull up your yarn, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook plus the one you had before you started. And that is three single crochets together in the next three stitches, we're gonna do one single crochet. And then in the last chain, we're gonna make three single crochets into that one chain. And that is row one. So you can kind of see a little V shape and this is gonna turn into the heart shape. Round two is gonna essentially be on the back, the bottom side of the chains we just went into. So to begin, we're going to do one single crochet in the next four chain spaces we can see. So the first one I see is this one right here. So this is going to be my first, one single crochet, next one, this is my second single crochet, third single crochet, and now my fourth. Into the top stitch right here, we're going to make three single crochets into that one stitch. And again, four single crochets into the next four chain spaces. And now we're going to slip stitch into this first single crochet that we made. Starting to see even more of the heart shape. To begin round three, we're gonna chain one. We're going to put two single crochets into the next three stitches. So we're gonna go into this first one right here that we slip stitch it into. We're gonna make two single crochets. Back in. Next stitch, two single crochets. Back in. And then this third stitch, two single crochets. Back in. 
we're going to put one crochet into the next two stitches. So one single crochet, next stitch, one single crochet. And then we're going to do the next three single crochets together. So as shown before, I'm going to pull up a loop, go to the next stitch, pull up a loop, next stitch, pull up a loop, and now you can yarn over and pull through all of the loops that were made on your hook. Again, one single crochet into the next two stitches. And then we're gonna put two single crochets into each of the next three stitches. So, one, two, next stitch, one, two, and then the last stitch. Another two single crochets. We can now do five single crochets. So one in the next five stitches. One single crochet, two, three, four, five. And then in this little tip stitch in the middle, we're going to put three single crochets into that same stitch. Five more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And we're now going to slip stitch into that first stitch we made. Now we can start round four. To start, we're gonna chain one and then single crochet one into the first stitch. And now we're going to put one single crochet here and two single crochet in the next stitch. Repeat that pattern two more times. So one single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. We just have to repeat that once more. One single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochets in the next stitch. We're gonna single crochet three together One single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet. Now we're going to put one single crochet in the next six stitches. In the next stitch, we're going to put three single crochets into that same stitch. And then the last six single crochets, single crochet one into each. Slip stitch into the first stitch and round four is complete. This is going to be the base of our heart basket. So now all we have to do is continue building upwards to make it the basket. 
So to do that, you're gonna chain one and then single crochet into the back loop of the stitches. So to do that, we're gonna go into the first one right here. You can see there's a top and a bottom. We're gonna go through the top only and make a single crochet. And then again in the next stitch. Don't wanna go through the full thing, just the top. And we're gonna repeat this same thing all the way around until we get back to the end. One single crochet into the top loop of the stitch. You can now see how the basket will be building upwards. Once you finish making single crochets all the way around, you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. You can go all the way through this time, not just through the back loop. Make a slip stitch. And now I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna make single crochets all the way around. You can now continue this round of single crochets all the way around as many times as you'd like until you get the height that you want for your heart basket. I'll return when I have the height of my heart basket done. I made four rounds for the height of my basket. I'm now going to pull through and cut my yarn. I will grab a sewing needle to weave in my ends, but then your heart basket is all complete.